My name is Rod Barnett. I have been in practice for over 45 years. I have always practiced in the area of commercial law and insolvency. It has been my experience with insolvency practitioners that they have a tendency to place the money matters first rather than the personal requirements of the client. And that's what places RSM in a good position as the accent is not on the recovery of monies but the recovery of the client. I always found Frank to be very personable. He seemed to indicate to the clients that their welfare was first and foremost. On the particular client I'm thinking of, the situation appeared quite hopeless in relation to his future financial well-being introduced a number of possibilities and scenarios which would not have otherwise occurred to the client and made him feel much more confident in going forward. Where they were facing insolvency and perhaps bankruptcy, he was able to retrieve the position, satisfy the creditors in relation to plans to navigate his way out of the problem. Frank's approach has always been very personable with the client. The outcome has been much more practical and effective. Trust between the insolvency practitioner and the client must be preeminent. Uh, the RSM team gets to the nub of the problem straight away. I think the key is focusing on the client's needs. You want to make sure that you focus on what they want to achieve. What we want to try and focus is on what can we do for the individual, how can we mitigate the losses and the personal sacrifices that they've made. Timing is critical. The key is getting timely advice and not making bad decisions after bad decisions. I think it's paramount in today's environment to get that advice about your financial concerns and take immediate steps. The key is that you, you make proper decisions. By getting in touch with us, you make proper decisions, you make informed decisions, and you make the right decisions. So you look at all your options and then you know which decision is best for you going forward.